What's up guys, this is Alexander King and today we're going to go back to Nemophila. Now, Nemophila is a band that we discovered uh, during the Guitar Jam days of the channel. Uh, we listened to the song Dissension, which was mind-blowing. Um, you can check, of course, the reaction on the channel and all of that. Uh, I will tell you more, of course, on why uh, I thought that was impressive as well in the analysis, hoping that this would be <laughs> equally as good. Uh, but without further ado, guys, this is Nemophila and the song is called Rise. A month ago, more or less, so new wish. Let's go. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> A new metal vibe right off the bat. Nice. We're definitely in a metal core vibe. Scream on the background, oh wow. I love the little cracks on the vocals at the last minute. Oh! The synths as well in the back. Oh wow! It's so layered. We're going hard for you. Wow. I will have to touch on the scenes later on, guys, in the analysis video. The base is... Wow! <laughs> I also love the, the concept of the video with the, with the painter uh, painting in real time uh, next to them. I don't know if it was like an actual real life painting inspired by the performance or if it was already you know, designed that he just uh, actually painted it during uh, the video. But it was a, a great idea, I really like that. But yeah, guys, there are a few time, a few points that I need to touch upon. First of all, the intensity in this song is fantastic. Uh, as I said, at the beginning, it gave me a lot of uh, new metal vibe, so early 2000s, because of some production choices as well, and some scratches and the crackles that they left in the voice. Uh, it really brings me back to that time, uh, at least, again, sound-wise and uh, some scape-wise. Of course, one can make the argument that new metal is the base for all the metal core that came after, so you had the heavier, 
uh, riffs um, with some other influences, influences thrown in, of course, but then you have the more, the more catchy choruses. Think about Linkin Park, of course, uh, think about Korn and Autospan uh, that kind of use the same formula. Of course, some more originally than others, but uh, trying to stick more or less to that uh, song structure. And it's again, it's a song structure that you find a lot in metalcore music nowadays. Uh, but this was uh, a little bit of new metal, uh, at least again in production choices. He, of course, a lot of metalcore, but also some hardcore metal. Uh, towards the end, especially the bridge. Uh, I don't know if I can call it the bridge, but the section after the guitar solo. Wow, they were going so hard. Jesus Christ, impressive. Uh, they are fantastic musicians, of course. Um, uh, again, it's one of the things that I noticed during the reaction that, um, when we listen together to Dissension, Dissension uh, which I, it's an incredible song, so intense. Uh, one of the standout aspects in that song was, of course, the vocal performance, and that translates as well to this song, <laughs> because she has a fantastic voice, both clean and harsh. Uh, I think that harsh, she has an unbelievable power and that she manages to put uh, the under vocals, but also uh, the clean sections, like she has a very beautiful voice. Uh, uh, it really fits the genre again and the uh, dichotomy of the metalcore style. Uh, so it's fantastic for that. But the other two points that I did want to touch upon, guys. Uh, first of all, the synths. Uh, it's something that maybe you don't necessarily pick up uh, on a first listen, if you don't have some very good uh, monitors or some good headphones, or maybe you know, if you're not um, uh, working with these sort of things, it's like oh, what I always say: it's the blessing and the curse of what I do. It's like one ear always goes to try and analyze everything that is going on, <laughs> so I try to pick up the, the details. Uh, but the scenes in the background really make this song so full and so huge. It sounds so huge because. You have the bass frequencies where the bass guitar is very uh, rhythmic and it's very stable and it's just locked in with the kick drums and that of course works perfectly in the lower uh, section of the mix but then you have the higher section of the mix that are filled in together with the guitars by these synthesizers in the background which create a lot of space and a lot of ambience um, and that of course fills up the mix beautifully and then of course the vocals nice and loud and central just uh, as you want them, especially when you have a, uh, a singer so good, <laughs> basically. And the other point that I did want to touch upon is that this, like they managed to pack so much into just a three minutes and 30 seconds song. Uh, so there was of course a repetition with the chorus, but they kept it very uh, interesting throughout. Uh, so a lot of variation uh, in the riffs and the song structure and the guitar solo, which was blasting right there. As I'm used to by now, when I listen to this genre, especially coming from Japan, like the technical level, it's just phenomenal, the, the skills are there, for sure. So yeah, guys, this was a great song. <laughs> Thank you, of course, to everybody that recommended me this. And as always, just let me know in the comments what you want to see next, because as I always say, it's the part that I enjoy the most. It's just like discovering new music that I didn't know before and engaging with you guys in the comments and starting a conversation about music because at the end of the day that's what this is all about even my own music it's that's what it's all about uh, so guys if you made it this far thank you so much for watching if you're curious to know what i do and there are of course a lot of covers uh, that i post here on youtube channel there are the original songs as well you can find one somewhere around here and the closing uh things on youtube <laughs> i don't know what to call them thanks again for tuning in and i'll catch you at the next one bye guys